It is truly an honor to be here with all of you. Um, since you have been so gracious to invite me uh, to a meet and greet and to welcome me uh, into your family, I wanted to start this evening uh, by telling you a little bit about my family. Uh, I am a second generation Chinese American. Uh, Gong is my family name. Uh, my grandparents immigrated uh, to the United States uh, in the 1920s. And I have always been very mindful on whose shoulders I stand and, on, and, and have been so appreciative of the opportunities that I have been given in my lifetime that it has been truly an honor for me and a privilege to be only uh, the second Asian American ever elected to the Illinois House of Representatives and only one of three uh, Asian American members of the Illinois General Assembly. Uh, we have made huge strides in the last election cycle, tripling the Asian American caucus from one, uh, which uh, the first Asian American elected to the Illinois General Assembly was Representative Teresa Ma, who was uh, the very first, uh, followed by me and then Senator Ram Villavalam, who was the first Asian American elected to the Illinois Senate. Um, and I will talk a little bit about uh, why that so important and uh, what we have been able to accomplish uh, now actually having Asian Americans in the Asian American Legislative Caucus. There has been an Asian American Caucus in the General Assembly in the past, but there have never been Asian American representatives in that caucus. One of the reasons why my, uh, my heritage is also very important to me professionally is that I discovered when I was a third year law student that my grandparents had faced deportation under the Chinese Exclusion Acts. And um, it was a surprise to me um, because my family never talked about that part of our family's history. Uh, my dad is one of five children and the youngest of five children. He was an infant during the 10 years that my grandparents fought the deportation, challenging the constitutionality of race-based immigration laws. Under the Chinese Exclusion Acts, all immigration from China was illegal based solely on race and nationality. Those laws were in force for almost 100 years until they were repealed in 1943. So it is through the work of a, an attorney who represented my family for over a decade that my grandparents were ultimately able to gain their citizenship, raise my father and my aunts and uncles, my two uncles went on to serve our country in World War II. Uh, my uncle Henry went back to serve in the Korean War as a physician. And we have been an integral part of this country. And I owe the, the, uh, the opportunities that I have had to the courage of my grandparents who came to this country not speaking the language and without an opportunity to legally immigrate to our country, which is an important segue into my professional life. I am also the only immigration lawyer in the Illinois General Assembly. I have been a practicing immigration lawyer for over 20 years. I started my career at Winston and Strawn, where I had the opportunity to pay back the sacrifice that somebody else made on behalf of my family by doing the same for somebody else. And I started taking on asylum cases on behalf of unaccompanied immigrant children, and it changed the trajectory of my career. I left Winston and Strawn, I went into nonprofit legal aid, uh, where I represented uh, mostly low-income immigrants in our community for two decades, ultimately founding the immigration law practice at the North Suburban Legal Aid Clinic. And then when my dear friend Laura Fine, who is our current state senator for this district, uh, decided to, to run for Senate, uh, she encouraged me to run for her seat in the Illinois House, becoming the first Asian American to represent the 17th district, which as all of you know has a very large Asian American population. 
And that brings me to where we are now in the Illinois General Assembly. As I said, we have now uh, reformed the Illinois Asian American Caucus with all of the executive board members actually being Asian American and including representatives through, from both the House and the Senate who have more than 10% Asian American populations in their district. The reason this is important, and here is a very good example of why this is important. Today, we launched a, a committee bringing together organizations representing the Korean American community in Illinois from all over Chicago to launch a complete count committee to ensure that every Korean American in our communities is counted. The reason why this is so critically important is that the census will determine how many representatives we have in Congress and how many federal dollars our state receives from the federal government. So getting the community together to ensure that we have a complete count could not have been made possible without the hard work that we did with the governor's office to put in place the funding to ensure that our state agencies, agencies like Hanul and the HANA Center, have the resources that they need to do outreach into the Korean American community. The Asian American Caucus had a seat at the table. We worked with the Black and Latino caucuses at the table with the governor to ensure that we were able to allocate $29 million in state resources to count our communities. This will ensure that our communities have representation, that our voices are heard, and that we receive the federal allocation of dollars that our communities need and that you know, will in turn help our, our communities thrive. And this is just one example of the ways that having Asian Americans in the General Assembly is consequential. It is important, and as we are building uh, these bridges to the community, um, I would encourage all of you to reach out to me, to reach out to my office, to let me know what issues are important to the community so I can bring those to the table with me when we work on issues in Springfield. Um, one of the ways that we have expanded beyond the Legislative Caucus is to put together, and I think Holly talked about this earlier, the Asian American Leaders Caucus. The difference is that the Asian American Leaders Caucus includes Asian American elected officials from all over Illinois at multiple levels. So for example, uh, Josina Morita is the first Asian American ever elected countywide. She is a commissioner on the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District. Um, it includes uh, Jason Han, Jin Lee, who are elected here at the local level. And we then can sit together around the table as elected officials and talk about the issues that are important to the Asian American community, to bring together our communities and work on solutions to some of the, the problems confronting our community. So it has been uh, an exciting time to be uh, an Illinois state legislator under the leadership of our new governor, uh, as well as a very uh, uh, energized uh, freshman class of legislators, one of the largest freshman classes of legislators uh, in Illinois, we have been moving the ball forward on a wide variety of issues. Uh, passed a balanced bipartisan budget this year, working across the aisle. And without getting into too much detail, I think we can talk about policy as we get into questions. But one of the things that has made me very proud to be a member of the General Assembly this year is that we truly reached across the aisle and we worked together. I think in stark contrast to what we're seeing sometimes at the federal level, we learned to disagree without being disagreeable. We learn to sit down and to find common ground among diverse perspectives and to have a conversation around how we confront challenging issues and solve problems by working together. And in doing so, we passed a bipartisan balanced budget. We passed the largest capital infrastructure bill in Illinois history. And we had both Democrats and Republicans supporting those efforts by working together. Uh, I think that that, you know, 
should be a model for how we govern. Um, and it doesn't mean that we, we agree on every issue all the time. Um, but we did so in a way that was respectful um, and that I think it was consistent with uh, the, um, the integrity that our office demands. And so uh, with that, I want to say it has been my honor to represent the 17th District, um, to uh, collaborate and to be uh, a, a one of a small but growing number of Asian American elected officials in our state. Um, and uh, we just hope to do you proud. So thank you so much for having me here. And uh, Jen, if